What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Black Desert. So today is a pretty good day. Um, we actually made some progress and upgrades. Hold on, I'm catching a fish right now. I just kind of left my game on and... Ooh, a relic. Nice. All right, anyway. So we made some progress in terms of upgrades. I got my Dim Tree armor to Tet, and that took 88 stacks, and that's kind of a lot, but I assumed it was going to be a little bit higher to get because um, look at how much this costs at the max is at 1.2. So I know this is RNG, but this is how I think of it. So let's see, Dim Tree. At Tet, this is worth like 1.2 billion. And for something like, I don't know, a Begs Glove at Tet is only 1, 1 billion and like almost 1.1. 1 .1. So I feel like the more it costs, the more stacks it's going to take eventually. Because, I don't know, it's really just RNG, but that's just how I think of it. Because I've gotten like Tet, Muskins, and Gaiath under 70. And this one took 88. My... Dandelion, which also is the most expensive thing, took me uh, 95 or 92. And then this one is like, it didn't take as many. So that's just my theory. That's probably wrong. Um, you got some stuff money to do. Oh, we got some relics it's here. But yeah, today what I wanted to do was pretty much just, um, just do contribution point daily. So let me, I'm going to get this relic done. Where's the other one? There it is. Uh, hello? Okay, game. Alright, so I also have some Gaia scrolls to do. And yeah, we got some energy. It's almost nighttime. I was going to do some night vendor rolls, but then I just realized that, nah, I don't want to. So let me repair stuff real quick, and we're good. So let's see, what do we have? Um, I don't think we have everything this sold. Is permitted by the head yeah. Of the of Merchants. You can we got this one to try. I'm just kind of selling it, and then I'm going to buy like another pry one. I think that all the music is gone. Let me Hold on, let me, let me see. No, it's on. So let's get out of the area. So let's head out all the way to. Let's go do these Gaia scrolls first. Yeah. But yeah, in the near future, I wanted to make a new character. And, well, not new. I already have one, so it's going to be like a level 15 or 20 ish. But I don't know if I wanted to do Warrior or Valk. And then another thing I thought of was possibly a Tamer. But I don't know. Like, Tamers are mostly just pet. And usually from the PvP I've seen of Tamer, it's like the Tamer itself does so little damage and then the pet pretty much just stuns and you just kill them, the enemy, because they're stunned. So it's just like, yeah, that doesn't seem so interactive. You get your main pet, stun them, and that, well... All right, so we got two god scrolls to do. But yeah, now that I just need one more Tet boss gear, it's actually a try, but I have a stack for it. It's at 53 stacks so far. I'm probably gonna use that to get to Tet, but right now uh, I don't have enough like hard and sharp shards to push these to Tet, so. Unfortunately, it's going to take me some time. Reblath. There are some people that actually get Gaia Helms from uh, normal scrolls, which is kind of amazing, actually. Because I do need another piece of gear to fail stack on. It's just kind of difficult to do. Because in my bank, right... Oh, I can't show you right now. Alright. 
show you after this once we head to Velia. Another day, another non existent Gaia Thelm. What I even get? Another violent. You know, speaking of Reblath, I should probably get two more Reblath pieces. I'm, if you don't know what it does, you essentially use Reblath to fail stack. And the reason why you do that one is because it's easy to get to like plus 20 stacks with it. And mostly because you can buy the durability options right from Belia. Which is why if you ever watch other people's videos, you see people fail stacking and enchanting mostly in Velia. So, unfortunately, you can only buy Reba there. Otherwise, we're just doing it everywhere else. Let's see, how much money do I actually have? I don't think I have too much money because in the past, uh, like, week, I blew through the about, like, a billion silver just by trying to upgrade this thing to Tep. And called? we got it eventually, okay. but, man, it's like... Our town is peaceful. If I could have just bought it from the store, I would have. Stay. And I don't think, obviously, buying Tet items off the market is I'm not easy. It's like you have to have some pretty decent points. luck. Okay, so... Pretty good. Dang, that dude has like all the titles. All the little like icons for first place. My God, you Welcome you life area. skill all day, every day. See, so, yeah, I'm down to like six memory frags left. It's rough. The struggle. Oh yeah, I need to um, withdraw more beers. So tonight's the maintenance for. I don't even know what's coming out tomorrow. There's probably gonna be another event. So, we're going to be doing that. I'm kind of glad the Thanksgiving event is over already, because that one is... That turkey boss was the most obnoxious thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's kind of bad. I'm a merchant. I even bargain in my dreams. Alright, so... That said, I think we have a few more things to do here. I... What? That's do indeed like high places, little buggers. Well, mommy's gonna teach you a lesson. You walk it down and drink droughts. Little buggers, mommy's gonna teach you a lesson when you get down. This is all because Avalyn brought the fish to me. Like you should roots. punish her. I should probably make hey, another Feria boat for some reason. Because that's just like easy money. Well, it's not easy, but. It's like passive money. You just have to life skill a little bit to get it. Alright, so let's see. In terms of my gear, I think I need to repair this one a little bit more. It's at 93, so that's like a few more. Uh, this one's full. Pretty much all of my gear is perfect durability. I'm really just happy this one is done with the Dim Tree because that one... Dim Tree itself is hard to get and then like enchanting, enhancing it is not... <laughs> The most fun thing to do. So it's probably gonna be a while until I upgrade my Begs Glove because it's the only thing I need, or only boss gear I need to get to Tet. And hopefully it doesn't take me more than 80 stacks because that would be a nightmare. Actually, we're going to Oblio, right? I kind of want to push for 300 uh, contribution points, but man, it's just not fun. It's tedious. Hold on, I'm gonna auto walk. Got a message. Alright, 
so... I kind of... Half the time, I really enjoy having the Kama Sylvia buff, and then half the time, I really don't. Because it's like, once I have it, I feel like I have to manage my energy so it doesn't get full all the time. And... Man, that's sometimes that means waking up every six hours or so to like drain the energy, and my sleep schedule has been all screwed up over this game, <laughs> which sounds kind of dumb, but well, usually you should never have full energy. You should try to drain it as often as you can so it's not wasted. In this game, energy is actually money. So, wait, where am I? What is this? Leave Olvia to the vigilant. Hopefully we get some good luck today with these quests and I don't have to uh, wait too long. Oh yeah, but one thing is you can get all these magic tools from the market um, during this event. Um... The turkey thingy, it gives you a lot of magic tools. So people are just selling them if they don't life skill or anything. And I'm, I'm the, like the one buying them, a lot of them. So I just before the event ends, I just probably should stock up on other characters. Some good for a while. And do this milk quest. I don't really use the milk actually. Like, I know you can make the milk tea or the sweet tea for uh, grinding and life skills, but man, it's just... To get all the ingredients is tedious. Alright. How many milk do you actually get? I got eight from that. Just by, uh... A cow alone. I wonder if it's actually worth it. I think you use five energy to get X amount of whatever. And then we'll see when you get the extra bonuses. So is it worth it? I have no idea. All right, game. I just need some good luck today. After wasting billions of silver trying to upgrade. I think in total, like the prices for these armors, they need to readjust it because man, it does not, it's like it costs more to make it than it's actually worth. I feel like someone was here recently. That's why all these trees are taken. That's done. Need more fur. There's like a birch one down there too, but I'm just lazy. There's a person there. That's definitely a person. I was like... No, no one moves like that. <sighs> All right, need five more logs. You can just get them from wherever. Did I get the green thingy already? Spirit leaf. I'm not sure if I got it. I 
I think I should be able to make, uh, oh wait, we are. Chop this. Oh, we barely got it. So if I could get seven from the 20, that'd be great. If not, ugh, I'm gonna have to chop more logs. Oh, a four. We just need another three. We got a five, that's fine. Too bad you can't use this one to get the quest done. Mm. Let's see, this quest over here, does it actually use or like take away two of them from your inventory? Leave Olvia to the vigilantes. We all have a strong attachment to this. No, it town. doesn't. Weird. Dang, that other guy over there got all the trees. I need them. Yeah, I still need that spirit leaf. I'll get it. We got it. <laughs> Alright, so now we talk to the dude up there. I usually take the pepper seed, the garlic one. I mean, they both sell, but the uh, pepper one sells a little bit faster, so. Yeah. All right, let's see. I think we're done with all the things here. Let's go to Florin now. And we get like the rough stone there. After this, we'll head to Calpion and get stuff done there. I, re I really like Calpion. It's just I wish it didn't have so many dumb quests. And then after this, I'm probably going to have to drain my energy. Like, I don't know what to do. This is the bad part about having my Kama Sylvia buff is getting energy a little too quickly to the point where I have to... Okay, so like, you know how you're, you get three energy every three minutes, so essentially one a minute. And with my total at 332, that's about like five and a half hours I have to manage it. Uh, then, and then there's some people who have, um, what is it? A lot more. Is it like the 520 or something? That means you could watch it like once every 10 hours or something. Did I get the rough stone here? I don't think I got it. Sometimes even weeds on the street can be useful. Fire is better. All right, so this one is super easy. Fire is better. When you land, you have to relax. You can't just to jump with me. Fire is better. Be careful when you land. You might get hurt. Be careful when you land. You might get hurt. Look. Oh, that was close. You have to relax your body like me. Higher is better. There are a few more quests in here that I could do, but man, it's just lazy. There's a kite one, but I think it's only during the day. So it's just like, eh. Eh. The only one that really matters here, though, is the rough stone one. This is not hard to get rough stone, but it's just kind of like you have to get it eventually, and then 
I would have to go out of my way to get it. Alright, so... I can't really be bothered doing uh, Northern Wheat Plantation today. I'll just do Calpion yeah. and, and we'll call it a day. I forgot, how much energy did we start with in the past like 20 minutes from this video? I, sh I probably have to rewatch it to see how much I actually get overall from just doing... I mean, like, I probably could get more if I actually took the time to do all the quests and contribution. But... I feel like at this stage, after you get past 250 in uh, contribution, it gets like... You get to soft cap 1, then 2, and then 3, and so on. So... 255 is the first soft cap, and then from 255 to 300, second soft cap, where it gets progressively harder, and then 300 to 350, and then 350 to 400. I don't think anyone actually has over 400 contribution yet. I think the highest is probably like 340 or something. Where's the... Huh. Alright, kid. I got you. You know what I haven't done in a while? The Aferia quest. I should probably do that every now and then just to get the sailboat pieces. And then I would make my third boat. Like, I, the materials to make the boat isn't the hard part. It's just uh, having your workers craft it. And that takes at least 20 days at minimum. Assuming you left your computer on 24-7. But that also depends on how many workers you have as well. So. I just not talk to the dude. Oh, wait. Can you only use a chimney once per person per, for, like, cooldown? What the heck is this game? Alright, so... Does this chimney need cleaning? Dude, what the heck? <clears throat> oh my goodness, the dude like cleaned the chimney two seconds earlier. And then now I now there's a cooldown and I can't do it. Feels bad. That chimney has to be dirty. What am I even doing? What is this game? Unfortunately, skilled goblin worker has failed to the promotion test. Feels bad. Let's see. All right, if it doesn't let me clean the chimney, I'm just gonna say, forget it. I don't have time. Well, I see. <laughs> By the way, I'm slowly making my way to level 60. Slowly but surely, 11%. I've been doing like an hour of grinding every every few days when I feel like it. And then, like, I'm not in a rush to get 60. It's just I get it when I get it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to talk to this lady first. How much money do I have in Calpion, by the way? Let me just check after this. 
I have a nice 243k in here. Ugh. Alrighty. I really, I like. I have a stack to start my uh, 50 days. Pretty low for going for tets. Like I see people starting at 60, and I would too. But I mean, realistically, I'm gonna have to start at 50, and then I really just want to bomb this the glove to see how fast I can get it. In terms of gear score though, I have like a five, 505 gear score. Um, once I get my rings, this is gonna be actually, I think my total gear score is gonna go up. But tri crescents, those are plus 14, right? So, or like 14 AP. And then so I'd be getting plus five on each of them. So like nine, wait, 14 minus nine. Okay, yeah, well, plus 10, and then I'd probably push these up to try. I don't know. I could probably YOLO enhance this to try, but I don't have any backup, which is the scary part. Well, the thingy disappeared. That's fine. So, by the time I get soft cap gear, I think I would be with the Tet Begs Glove. That's another 5 to it. And then Tri Crescents, that's another 10 total. So that's 15. And then I think I'd be using another Red Coral Earring instead of the Asula. So that one only gives you another 1. I would be taking this one out. I don't know, I'd probably still use this one until I got like a Tungrad or something. I don't know what else. And then getting this to Tet is like a plus two to your gear score. So like 15, 16, 18. So I'd be at like 520 with full Tet and tri or soft cap. And then that's where everything gets rough because you're either going for Tet accessories, which is going to take a long time. Yep. Alright, so, moving on. But all of this said, like, sure, I'll get more gear score, but that's probably going to take me another, like, three or four months to actually do it. If only it was that easy. I mean, this game is getting easier significantly. Leveling is definitely pretty easy nowadays. But at least I played a little bit of this game because I started uh, early. Well, I actually had the game during launch. I just didn't really play much until like July. So I played a little bit before any of the XP bonuses were in place. So like it was actually hard to get to level, I don't know, 60. And nowadays 60 is like the soft cap. And then anything yeah. over that is just going above and beyond. Let's see, what do I do now? Could go to a ferry, yeah, but I really have no point in being there. Hmm. I'll do this one. 
Why do I have to go through that one? Why can't I just make a turn? No, I just missed the elevator. Uh, Wait, does this work? Okay, apparently not. Uh-oh. No! Please! Let me in. Oh, I made it. Shoe sold. Sweet. Oh, tell me exactly what you need. We have so many orders coming in. All right. So with that said, I'm probably just gonna finish them up. The rest are kind of wonky, tedious, and I will see you guys in a bit. See you guys next time.